G'day guys, welcome back. Righto, this is going to be the last one for the Bloom Boom. Boom Blooms, <laughs> I should say. The Boom Blooms. Uh, I did a pink and purple one, and then I did like a orange and yellow one, and then a bluey one, and now I'm going to do green and throw in a bit of orange. Hey? See how that looks. I was going to do all green and I thought, oh, it's a bit boring. Let's throw in a pop of orange. Uh, so these are the Boom Gel Stains that I'm using, pre-mixed paints. So I just put down my normal pillow paint, which is the British Paints Interior Wall Lotion Paint. And I'm using these instead of making up my own pouring medium and adding that to the Jo Sonia's paint. So pretty much the same consistency these are straight out of the bottle. And then I've got... Banksia orange. I'm trying not to put it in my paint. I've got some black because I need a pop of something a bit darker in there. It just helps with the lacing to have something a bit darker. Pearlescent mink. I like the pearlescent. It's nice and shiny. Give it a nice, nice colour. I don't know what that is. That was a sample. I mean, these are all samples sent to me by Cass. Um, I don't know what that is, but it looks like it's a green. So let's use that. Okay, the cell activator is just the three parts Australian Floetrol with one part of Amsterdam Titanium White. And that is what makes the lacing. That's the secret ingredient to these blooms <clears throat> to get your lacing is the Floetrol with a highly pigmented white opaque paint so i'm sure there's others that work but i've just bought amsterdam and i'm just sticking to it because i like it now uh, let's put some dark green down first so we'll go light dark light dark and then the contrast i just like the contrast you know of of colors next to each other and then we'll do a bit of black and zigzag it and then the orange and then we need another dark color don't we so we'll go some more of this and then we can go with this one and a little bit more black Black makes really pretty lacing. And then, what do I want on top? Mm, I think I want orange on top. I'll just go sort of opposite that way. So you can see all the colours that are coming through from underneath. And that just makes really pretty lacing. Rather than having a blob on top of a blob on top of a blob. I like this because I can see all those different colours popping up from underneath. I can't really see much of this one though, so let's just do a little drizzle of that one. Okay, now we can see all the colours, can't we? And our white. And off we go, straight down and out to the side. very well I was looking over here to see what was happening there but I was blowing that way so I wasn't watching now I've got quite a bit of white in the middle still so we'll just do some little blows straight down with my little fan blower and he should bring up some lacing I don't want to move the other lacing out of the way don't want to disrupt it. I'll just go straight down and that'll bring those up through the centre. Where's my orange? Oh, I might have to go over this one and do it again because I don't like that area there. And I've only got this tiny little bit of orange here. And I know it's one part orange and then there's three of the greenish tones, but I thought I'd get more up. I'll just spin it and see what happens. I can always pour over it. So I just wanted to see more of the orange. 
So you're going to see a little bit of it through there. Still pretty though. I just, in my mind, I just thought, oh yeah, a really good pop of orange would be nice in there. Through like that there. Just wanted more of it in there. But that, I mean, it's really pretty, isn't it? It is really pretty. But I want to go again because I want to do, I want to get more orange. So let's go again. Oh, should I show you first? I'll just show you. I'm just going to pick up the whole tripod. Pick up the whole tripod <laughs> rather than take the actual phone off. Let's see if I can do it that way. What's that orange there? That's a weird angle, but I can't get the tripod any. Another table's in the way. All right, so that's it there. Let's go back around. It's got my little tripod sitting up here on the table. Okay. We'll go over it and I'll see if I can get some more orange this time, hey? Okay, um, let's see. Teal. And light green. I don't think the orange and the black really liked each other very much. It's kind of like yellow and black together. But I do need that for contrast. Maybe I'll do this way. Something set my dogs off. My husband came home early in the morning. I don't even know what time it was. I didn't even look at the clock. <laughs> so he's probably just got up now because uh, he drove through the night. It's a 10 hour drive. So he drove through the night and he's back. But I got up at 6 a.m. to you know, look after the dogs and I said, go back to sleep. So what's the time now? Nine o'clock. It's probably him getting up now. And let's go with some more orange, like so. Here we go. All right, how's that? That looks... Got the two lighter colours on top there. over blue that area there I must be getting tired <laughs> this is my fourth <clears throat> my fourth well this is the fifth one actually the fifth one oh look I've got too much blocky color here I don't like that that green must be more of an opaque it's sitting on top it's not letting the other colors come through same as what the yellow did in that previous pour so I don't think I'm going to like this one very much either, but let's try. And I can go over it again. I just remember not to have the green on top. And where's all my orange again? No, I don't like that. See, this this where I, that was lacing there, and it's been blown out too much. So you lose your lace and you just get this strip. All right, let's go again. I'm nearly out of pillow paint here. Little tin's getting quite empty. I can get another couple out of it right dark green mm, maybe the orange next and I'm not going to put the green next to the, the black that can go there So I'm not going to put that light green on top. I think it's, as I said, I think it's an opaque colour just by the way it's reacting and not letting the other colours come up through it because it sort of sits on top and goes, nah, you're staying down there, I'm on top. Um, 
How's that? Maybe a little bit more of this one. Okay, I think that'll do. So that other greens underneath. Right, here we go, last one for the day. I'm tired now. I'll blow gently. Okay, that was a better blow. <clears throat> I've got lacing all the way around. I've got orange showing up. Loving that tealy colour there. Let's just blow in here just a touch. Get a few popping up. Gotta make sure you don't get your tool stuck in the paint. When I started with the tool, I used to keep touching it in there. Right now, don't wait for them to grow because as you uh, spin, they'll grow anyway. So just get going. Otherwise, they're too big and blobby in the middle. Ooh, that's pretty. Doesn't really look like a green paw, does it? <laughs> it's a it's an orange and teal paw. My green's gone. I did you know I did cover it with all those other colours, but that's really pretty. I need to get a little bit more off here. You just can't win, can you? You think, okay, now I need to get rid of that green. So I did, it's gone. All right, how's that? I think that's it. Yay! That's really pretty. I like that one. Wow, orange lacing. Look at the orange lacing over the teal. So we've got some dark teal and over here into the white, obviously. Um, we've got teal lacing, orange lacing. Well, there's a tiny bit of the green lacing in there. That's really, really pretty, that one. That's a keeper. Now, I'm going to take you down for a close-up, <clears throat> and then I am done. That was six, wasn't it? That was three on this one. Tricky colours to work with. Oh, that looks really nice. It's such a pretty one, that one. So, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed, to say the least, with um, these blooms booms oh, I keep getting my boom and my bloom mixed up <clears throat> you know what I mean boom gel stain is it a gel I don't know is it a stain I, I don't know I think it's boom acrylic pre-mixed pouring paint hmm if you guys are searching for pre-mixed pouring paint it might not come up because it doesn't say pouring paint on it. It says gel stain. I don't know, maybe there's something to look at, guys. <laughs> I think, anyway, no, I'll shut up. None of my business. Uh, there we go. Look into that there. Look at that orange lacing. Mm -mm -mm. It looks, reminds me of coral, doesn't it? so pretty that orange with the teal orange and teal are just a gorgeous team they really are that is just so so pretty that there love it okay that's me done for the boom blooms for a while and i'm going to move on to something else and uh, i will see you all real soon as usual stay safe keep isolated as i am only popping out just when i need to go and get some groceries um, no work at the moment, unfortunately, but uh, I will keep pouring and keep coming to you in your living room. So I'll see you real soon. Thanks again for watching. Much appreciated. Love you all. Bye for now.